Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the happy thing problem, which is the stocks problem. The question is N transactions are made in a trading market. The minimum value of profit earned in a single transaction is X and the maximum value of the profit earned in a single transaction is Y. You, you must find the number of different possible profit that can be made in a single N transactions. A single line containing three space separated integers N, X, Y. Here N is number of transactions. N is number of transactions. X is minimum profit and Y is maximum profit. These three are input. We have to get in single line. Here another logic is important uh, in each transaction. Number of transactions is n, then each transaction we are having uh, three values. We must use the minimum as well as max. This both are a condition. Here, sample input is 3, 13, 15. We are getting sample output as 3. This is the output for this input. Here, we can see that three transactions with minimum as 13 and maximum as 15. That means lower limit is 13 and higher limit is 15. We have to find the uh, possible profit from this input. Here we can see that this is the logic for that. In each one, we are having three transactions. One, two, three must have minimum and maximum. Another one will be anything between these both we have to include both lower limit and upper limit so here we are using 13 and here we, we are using 14 and here we are using 15. after that we can't use and we can't uh, write any other transaction here so we just add it up this one 13 plus 13 plus 15 that that will be 41 and this will be 42 this will be 43 here we are having three transactions so three possible profit are here so answer will be three we can we can uh, write a logic for that based on this one 43 minus 41 is 2 actually the the first last one will not be included when we finding this subtraction so we have to include the last one so we are adding uh, adding up with one so 43 minus 41 plus one that will be three answer will be three so we are writing program here we are finding a here uh, in that condition a will be 41 we, we will get a as 41 here and Here it is 43. We are multiplying first. A will sorry, A will be 43 and B will be 41. Here we are multiplying, multiplying with upper limit 15 into n minus 1. Here n minus 1 is transaction is. So n is 3, so 2, 15 into 2 will be 30 plus x, x is 13, so 43 will be answer here. Then we are uh, getting x, x into 2, x into 2 is 26, 26 plus 15 is 41. So a minus b will be 43 minus 41. Here answer will be 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. So when we returning C, we are getting, getting as 3. Here we are getting the input from the user and we are printing, printing the, we are calling the function. We are passing the values Y, X and N. 
here is the output for that if i am using some other input as 4 13 and 16 then output will be 7 here is the logic for that here we can see that the lower limit is 13 and upper limit is 16 in each one i return that one after that the possible combination i return this is the first value 13 13 13 16 then this will be this will the next combination these are the combinations actually seven combinations are possible here uh, for logic we are taking this first one and the last one if you add it up and uh, subtract we find the difference between this one we are getting six plus one is for last value inclusion we are getting seven this is the logic after that i am having another input format which is i am just giving the transaction as two if it, whatever it is if i am giving the transaction as two then we can include only the maximum and the minimum value no other things will be included so output will be one if i am giving transaction is two obviously transaction is two and i am giving the uh, 14 here 20 as well 14 and 20 only the values here because we can't include any other values here only two two values will be possible here so only one transaction with profit only possible like that only this output is possible i hope you understood the logic thanks for watching